parenting is kind of what I want to talk about next, because the next subject is about China actually banning Fortnite and gaming during the week. So China actually did this a long time ago. They banned uh, all gaming during the week and restricted any kids gaming to three hours a week. Actually, I don't even know if it's kids. Is it anybody? Who knows? Is it just period? Like you can't play it? I have this article. Let me let me bring this up. Let's let's find out. Get the details. China bans kids from playing uh, online video games during the week. Okay, this was this was a while ago. This was from August um, in 2021. China has barred online gamers under the age of 18 from playing on weekends and limiting uh, limited their play to just three hours most weekends, marking a significant escalation of restrictions on the country's massive gaming industry. Starting this week, minors will be allowed only an hour of playtime between 8 p.m. and 9 p.m. So, oh, but, it's not I just mean, like a limited you, time. It's a only at that time. Oh, man, the servers are going to be... be absolutely terrible on those in that hour um on friday weekends and public holidays according to a statement of the chinese media watchdog the national press and publication administration that was posted by state news agency xinhua on monday the move represents a huge tightening of earlier limits set by the agency in 2019 which had restricted play to 90 minutes on the weekends and three hours on weekends for children so it has already been 90 minutes on the weekends or weekdays Oh, weekdays. Okay, weekdays. And then three hours on the weekends. That is absolutely insane. Now, that is the government telling you if you can play video games. Now, I think it's on to the parents. I mean, we we're just talking about being parents, you know. Yeah. Um, how, how old are your kids, by the way? Uh, 10, 8, Four. You, you're on the spot. You got you got still this one. I got them. I got them. <laughs> Ten, eight, uh, and four. I and got then, it. And then you know, negative. and then ne well, three or four point months. point whatever. Oh yeah, okay. Negative. He hasn't, negative hasn't made couple. it to the finish line yet. So. Nice, nice. Um, yeah, uh, th I, I I am not against the idea of a complete ban of Fortnite. I'm not against that at all. <laughs> <laughs> Why but, is that though? Because you don't you don't believe Fortnite's a real game, or <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> No, it just, Whoa, it's I, just I know annoying. some people but that would think I am otherwise. The government telling me what to do and how yeah. to teach my kids. Like, mm -hmm. I think it's not a bad idea to limit your kids' playtime. I agree with that. But it is a bad idea to have the government tell you to limit your kids' playtime. Uh, exactly. And, and I don't understand this whole Fortnite thing. So, this here says Fortnite bans itself from China. Although, I originally heard that China <laughs> You're banned... You're not gonna fire me? I quit! <laughs> yeah, like, wait, what? So, I heard originally that China banned Fortnite, but now this article claims uh, the opposite. Uh, let's dig into it. U.S. internet service uh, company Yahoo said Tuesday it had pulled out of mainland China, becoming the latest tech firm to withdraw as a crackdown by Beijing on the industry uh, gathers pace. The move comes just days after American gaming giant Epic said it would shut its popular game Fortnite following the imposition of strict curbs on the world's biggest gaming market. Ah, so mm. it's basically telling China, if you're going to stop us from making all the money that we're making off of all your kids, which is, if you think about it, now it all makes sense. It all yeah. makes sense. China is losing money to other gaming companies like Fortnite. Fortnite is a cash cow. They make millions of dollars. Uh, is it billions? They might be. Bi I think it's billions, actually. I think Roblox is up there. Hold Their on. I'm going to do like this. In the bees. Net worth of Fortnite. It's my show now. He's what do you think? Off. What do you think it's going to be? What What is the net worth of Fortnite. I just looked it up. I'm I'm pulling up an article oh, right now. Looking. What what's your what's your guess? Chat, I what do you guys think? What do you think know. it's gonna be? I'm gonna just gonna I'm gonna say six billion dollars because that's what Elon Musk was making. Okay. Okay, so according to new uh net worth dot spot dot com, Fortnite's net worth is only two point eight four million dollars oh but how much does look it up earn? roblox though okay let's do roblox next done? go look at that I i'll do i'll do roblox next roblox do you play roblox bro most roblox? commonly asked question i honestly i think roblox is actually a really interesting 
and it's got a it, whole economy and stuff inside it's kind of crazy it is a uh, part of the future of gaming actually i i it's more of an I'm, engine that like i'm kind of torn with this whole within. fortnite thing i swear i read that they were making so much more than what i just read right now that their net worth was only a couple million dollars like that doesn't make any sense um let's see roblox oh, this is a long long article um they're currently in 2017 they earned over 30 million dollars roblox is now valued at three billion dollars as of this month with a b dude there's no way fortnite's only worth three million dollars that's would that be i gotta i gotta i gotta check a different website because i don't i don't believe that um evolution awards net worth here we go net worth is now 130 million the, oh okay that other website was absolute bs what did you what was your guess six, of the, six billion not, six yeah. billion it's two billion dollars fortnite okay if the, i knew roblox i would have guessed yeah, yeah lower but always check different sources people um and uh so that being said now now we see china is cutting them off from a lot of money but why would they e they would still be making money off of of the the kids playing in in china right why would they purposefully step down let's like what you think china's gonna change their policy no china's trying to make their kids become scientists and astronauts and engineers and not want to be youtubers in fact that is one of the number one questions asked to kids what do you want to be when you grow up mm -hmm. america youtuber europe youtuber they want to be everyone wants to be youtubers i didn't want to be a youtuber I enjoy what I'm doing right now. I, I really enjoy it. I, I don't know if you wanted to be a YouTuber. You're actually a producer. Um, and right. so you you do a production for I the Crowder to be show. Some some creative in right. some way, you know. But so that's, that's not that's, that's goal, not the same not thing. Been like YouTube. Right, right, right. Yeah. Um, you just happen to have a personality that uh is great for the YouTube airwaves. Um, and you know, it works, right? But you didn't yeah. set out to try to be a YouTuber, neither did I. You know, I I I had multiple different careers in my life so far and i'm i have something to offer i think and these kids in china are their question or their answer was astronaut that that was the number one i believe it was astronaut they they want to go out into space they want to be astronauts it's like that's that's great why why can we, how can we instill that into kids and mm -hmm. have them like look i love gaming right i don't get me wrong we, you and i you're a gamer i you know we both game like games awesome i yeah. love game gaming is great but there is a fine line between uh being addicted to it and enjoying it right there's yeah. and people that will lose their life savings into a game like fortnite for example which you can spend money to get outfits and all this stuff and it's not really a pay to win because you still need skills but it doesn't matter it's like they can just keep pumping out digital costumes and just getting more and more money and that's why they're making billions of dollars on this company yeah so i think i mean you can you can aspire to be a, a legitimate game like it, there's a it's a sport right it's become right. a sport now so you can do that but it's such a small just like regular you know national sports it's a small pool of people that actually make money at it so yeah true if if you're if you're going to be playing games a whole lot then focus it if if not you should true. probably you know think of actual i mean look at the twitch streamer leak that just came out right the the some of the top twitch streamers make 200 grand a so month people do make money at it and you, you can, can do it right you can but do it, yeah but all those people have something to offer they're they're unique in some sense right there's right. a reason yeah. people want them some of them are just just got nice tits or something i mean i'm not gonna lie i mean that's that's a, a reality people come on i mean that's why hot tub streams are a thing because the simps are uh the it's simp like army meme where you is see a real a thing when a guy plays streams a video game, it's like game main screen little right. picture of a guy. Whenever a girl uh, ch chick is doing it, it's like the opposite. Yeah, I mean that's not true 100 percent of the time. All, you know, it's not happening all the time, but but 60 of the time it works. Every the most time. successful ones. Uh, I mean, the bottom line here is it's about parents, right? Let's bring the let's make parenting great again, right? I mean, that's really what it is. Like parenting has become 
here, play video games. I don't want to hear you crying anymore. Here, watch here's the tablet. Watch this movie. Tablet, yeah. I don't, I don't want to deal with you. I, both of us have to work every day. Obviously, both of us implies a two parent household, which isn't even a thing anymore. Mm -hmm. Um, but you know, even those two parent households don't have a lot of time because they're working all day. And I mean, I know a lot of families and, uh, patience doesn't exist anymore and that that's patience for people who don't agree with you online but it carries over to children too i've seen uh i i used to teach uh skateboarding in, in a, a skate school in uh new york and i would see how parents interact with their with their kids and i would say about 45 percent of the kids that i taught were from uh, had single parents and mm -hmm. those parents just gave them everything and these kids were such brats and it was not all of them. I had some incredible students and some some awesome kids that I taught uh, skating. But, you know, I, I saw how they were being treated and the snowplow parenting and the whole like, I'm going to protect you from the world because the world sucks and not prepare yeah. you for the world because the world sucks, which is what we need more of. Um, so the parenting and teaching your kids uh, moderation in video games is huge. We got to yeah. learn that instead of having the government decide because it's spilling over. China's doing it right now. Look at Australia right now. Australia is locking down their, everybody, their entire citizens. It's They're crazy. getting hardcore over there. And, and what we saw in Virginia is a direct response to the parents going, no. Yeah. We are going to control what our kids learn and what our kids do, not you, government. That is too far. When you mess with kids, you lose. Yeah, and it's it's they're trying to distract from it because Joy Reid on their her show oh, she gosh. said that the reason was it was about it it wasn't about COVID it was about education which is a dog whistle or or whatever however she phrased it but it was basically meaning that parents not it's not about education it's about that they didn't want their kids learning about Black history yeah. That is not the that is not the case. It's, it's not lies. It's not just CRT that's in schools. It's CRT. Right. It's the books that we are seeing coming out of schools that are very provocative. You know, yeah, not disgusting, just, disgusting, right? Uh, yeah, kids reading these things or being assigned these things. It's a whole. There's a bunch of stuff going on that that parents are going. Yeah. Whoa, wait. What? This is what they're teaching my kid. No, there's no way. And then you whenever they his... hear somebody say, "You can't be in the t in the classroom mm -hmm. then you go wait a second if i'm i'm all of a sudden waking up to this and realizing that my kids are watching these things and whenever i have something to say about it right then you say that i'm racist or evil for or a domestic terrorist kid, or a domestic terrorist it's crazy that's why people go no i'm pulling the lever for the other side because they're yep. not the ones doing these things you exactly are. it's true what pisses me off about those provocative books that are showing just sex acts on people they they are saying they're like oh they're it's homophobic because they was like no i i wouldn't want heterosexual imageries of that stuff in there you yeah. know it's any of that any of that shouldn't be shown to kids like I, I, there's what? no like, there's no purpose see they're no they're purpose, picking though. and choosing their battles like oh well see then you're anti-gay and i'm like no i don't care if you're gay I, I yeah. don't that doesn't bother that's, me that at all. Do you do you, man. If you're or woman, whatever, you know, it's I'm, I'm just saying or like you, you you do you if you're an adult. But as soon as you start messing with the kids, we've got issues. Yeah. Hormone blockers, like I've man, I was reading a study today about how it it weakens um children's bones. They mm -hmm. are losing bone density by 30% in some cases. And your bones should be getting stronger as a yeah as you're growing up a teenager um you know the human brain doesn't even stop f fully growing until 25 24 25 so i mean all this stuff like they're making some, some of these people think they think that you can just go on hormone blockers and then if you choose not to you can just revert back and like no that's it. if you stop that 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 natural system mm -hmm. you can't just restart it like it doesn't work that way yep once you stop it you stop it and then for the rest of their life, they have to deal with the consequences of this. So it's not yep. in this. It's like this is the same thing. If a kid, whenever he was seven, wanted to get a face tattoo. No, right. Because no. you are a seven year old and you can't make a decision whenever you're an adult. Sure. You can get a face tattoo if you want. Mm -hmm. 
but you can't at seven. It's right. the same thing. You're you're a kid. You, we shouldn't be letting kids make these kind of life altering decisions. When you're yep. an adult, do what you want to do. I'm all good. You know, freedom. I'm you do you. Uh, yeah, they're kids. You can't yep. be doing this. Boom. Exactly. I, and and we need boom. to stop the, the whole culture of of that. That's it. And like you said, like it's uh, it's a distraction. It's a way of saying like you're a bigot. Yeah. You don't want children. You what, you don't want children to be happy. <laughs> well, you know, kids are. They don't need don't they don't need they that to be. to be happy. They don't need right. that to be happy. You give them you give them a, a forest with a stick. And they'll be happy. That's all they they'll run do. around the forest with a stick and explore and enjoy it. I mean that that I've seen kids, you know, enjoy forests. You know, I, it's 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 a forest. It's nature. Nature That's makes it. people happy. All you, need. you know, uh, the the real thing is we need to not let government decide what we do mm -hmm. for our kids. And that like this whole Fortnite thing, I think it's about the money. Um, but the root of all of this, of what I see, I and basically the entire everything we've been talking about minus the UN thing, but uh, the whole Virginia thing, it's about the kids. We yeah. should, uh, I, I say we, but I'm going to be a parent soon. I, and I will be, you know, but uh, you're a parent, you know, it was like, you should have control over what your kids learn. Yeah. Period. Period. I don't think that's no, ridiculous qu no questions think. asked. Yep. That's it. All right. Well, let's get into one of the, one of the parents oh, actually said that he said, sorry, he he said, he was All like, good. you work for us. Yeah, you're not above us. You work for us. It's the same mm -hmm. thing with politicians and all that stuff. Yeah, you work for us. Yeah, you somehow we us. in this in this race of life, we've flipped that, and you think that you rule over us. No, you work for us. Mm -hmm. We tell you how our kids are going to be taught. Yeah, that's the deal. Anyways, sorry. It's beautiful. No, no, it's fine. I, I I'm glad that was a good finish. 